guys, Miss Campbell here again. Today we're going to be talking about campaigns that happened in Texas. Um, most of the major battles of the Civil War took place in the Tennessee Valley or on the East Coast, Virginia, Georgia. Um, but Texas had a few battles. We got away pretty unscathed when it came to damages. Um, it was nothing like the um, damage done on the Eastern Front. So today we're going to focus on the campaigns in Texas because this is Texas history and that's kind of what we do. Here we go. Let me get rid of this little thing here. All right. Uh, one of the Union strategies, which we talked about in one of the earlier presentations, was to blockade um, the Confederate ports. Well, Texas had several ports because we are right along the Gulf of Mexico. One of our biggest ports is Galveston. So Union ships were able to blockade the Texas ports. Um, we were transporting our cotton via land. Like we would have wagon trains that would take it over the land, over the um, Rio Grande River, and then out of Mexico. Um, the United States did not, or the Union did not blockade Mexico because we were not at war with Mexico. So this was kind of a really smart thing that the Texans did in order to get the cotton transported out of the state into Europe. And they were hoping that Europe would dock in Mexico and they would able be able to get the supplies for the war back um, through wagon trains over the land as well. All right. In October of 1862, Union forces attacked and captured Galveston. Um, Galveston, like I said, was vital to the Confederacy because it was our biggest port. Confederate commander John B. Magruder planned to recapture Galveston. And what he did was really smart. He took two steamships and he converted them into gunboats by taking bales of cotton. Um, these are cotton balls that have been like condensed into these big cubes of or bales of cotton that they're super dense so if you sh if you were to be shot at those would act as a barrier between you and what's shooting at you so it was really smart uh the attack began on january 1st 1863 and confederate forces retook galveston happy new year right Confederate soldiers defeated Union forces at Sabine Pass. Um, Sabine Pass is the mouth of the Sabine River. Um, this is also an entryway into the Gulf of Mexico. So, like I said before, the United States, one of their biggest um, strategies was to blockade there. Uh, Dick Dowling and 45 Davis guards played a major role by capturing 350 soldiers and two boats on September 8, 1863. The Battle of Sabine Pass was an important Confederate victory, foiling the Union's major campaign against Texas. So really, any way that we can get goods in and out of Texas was vital to the Confederacy. All right, Brownsville. One of the things that the Union wanted to do was to cut off that overland supply line. They figured it out and they focused on Brownsville. So wagon trains of cotton crossed the border into Matamoros to be shipped out. And Matamoros is like right on the other side of the Rio Grande from Brownsville. You, the Union strengthened their blockade off the Texas coast. Union troops cap captured Brownsville in early uh, November of 1863, but they were called away to fight in another battle and another campaign up at the Red River. In late November 1863, Confederate troops recaptured the town for the Confederacy. So we were able to recapture Brownsville. All right, the Red River campaign. Union forces captured New Orleans, which was huge. The Mississippi River is a major artery that goes through the middle of the United States. And the South used it a lot to uh, transport goods up and down um, the Mississippi, especially in the southern part. Um, by capturing New Orleans, New Orleans had the mouth of the Mississippi where it empties into the Gulf of Mexico. So now nothing could come in or go out via this, this waterway. 
25,000 Union troops had been called away from Brownsville to take part in the River, Red River campaign. A smaller Confederate army met Union forces 25 miles from the Texas border in one of the bloodiest campaigns forcing the Union to take back. Now, you have to understand the Red River not only separates Texas from Oklahoma, but it also flows and empties into the Mississippi River. So, again, by cutting off the Red River, you, the Union could uh, prevent things from entering the Mississippi and then ultimately the Gulf of Mexico. All right. Those are the major battles. There's one more we're going to talk about in the last, um, one of the last presentations that we're doing over the Civil War. But again, if you have any questions, make sure that you go into our um, discussion boards and feel free to ask any questions about this. I will be manning that throughout the day and we'll answer your questions. I hope y'all are having a wonderful day and I miss your faces. Bye now.